we all want to make money. I want to make money, not going to lie, but I would prefer to do it the right way by making and producing art that I feel is my, the best I could do. And I'm just trying to set the bar that you can do what the fuck you want to do because the world is yours. And I wanted to kind of pioneer my own legacy. You know, I wanted to leave back my own path. I didn't want to be like, oh, well, yeah, everybody knew about him because he came out and he had that famous rapper's name. And Nah, man. You know, how you gonna knock somebody in the world for actually trying to do something? Trying. Since when has it become not cool to try? Fucking loser. This greatness, man, I just, we just want to make dope shit. You can do whatever you want. The world is yours. And I'm telling the young cats of our generation, don't discriminate against anybody because we're all one generation. And that's some important shit, yo. I mean, who would have thought a ghetto kid with gold teeth and French braids from the hood would be in Vogue and GQ on the same month, in the same month, at the same time, about the same shit? And that's when you got to figure out what's right for you, you know what I mean? And, you know, just because that's my thing, you know, and even if it is your thing, you know, figure it out, do what you got to do. You know, I did what I did, and I made it in a positive way. And I feel like anybody could do it, straight up. I wanted to prove to people that I can make a mainstream commercial hit without actually having to really, like, compromise my whole style and whatnot, because most people just try to fit into radio and whatnot or whatever is going on because that's what sells, obviously. When you take the initiative to go left, it's taking a big, big, big risk. I think it's um, one of those situations where you just put out the product and you gotta see where the legacy goes from there. Mm. You know, I could say what I want it to be and what I hope it will be. Uh, you know, I'm successful up until this day by just doing what I feel is true to me. So I feel like if I continue to do that, I'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? You got to do you. Where, yeah. where would suit you and not with strength? Yeah. But the, the weird thing is, like, when we wear stuff that suits us and not with trendy, it becomes a trend. So, you know, by default, you, you know, that might be confusing. You know what I'm saying? I would say just kind of like everybody's different. Everybody got, like, different body shapes and whatnot. So what I would say is, like, kind of, like, stick to what, you know, fits you best and what you feel comfortable in. Even if it's not in style, just wear what you ever, whatever you feel cozy. I realized my whole life I just wanted to be a rapper like everybody else. And this is my story. I got a story that's similar to everybody's, you know? And here's my story about how I went from rapping, selling drugs, going to jail, doing fashion, all type of shit. Shit that I'm not proud of, shit that I don't like to glorify, and shit that I love talking about every day. You know, I make music, so I know. It's cool, it's about, sometimes it's about the art. Mm -hmm. You know, not to be artsy farsy all the time, you know? I shouldn't just be identified as a, a rapper, because I'm, I'm not. <laughs> You know, I'm an artist. You know, um, rappers rap. Artists, they articulate. You know, I, I just want to be an artist and express myself. That's it. What I learned, cherish every moment, cherish everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's important, man. And it's not just because it sounds good and it's the right thing to say, but just if I'm going to keep it real with you, the cameras and this mic was off, I'll tell you, man, like, everybody's important. Right, everybody. It was really good to hear myself on the radio today. You know what I mean? That's, shit like that is pretty dope. <laughs> it was crazy because, you know, you don't expect it to turn on the, the radio. I don't know no, I don't know any DJ personnel. I don't know no DJs. They play all that ASAP shit off their own free will. I just, I feel blessed. I'm happy to be here in 2015 and be able to be an artist that's, you know, respected for his creativity and his craft you know, opposed to, you know, other things, you know, just the publicity stuff, you know, and that's why, you know, I didn't really want to touch on that other subject is because it's just like, you know, for me, <clears throat> I want people to know that, man, putting this album out took a lot out, out of me because, you know, I, I, I created it with Yams and he's gone and, you know, there's nobody that could ever replace him. So I'm just trying to be strong. I don't think you ever get through these things. You're important, bro. You don't really think about you. You don't live. You don't take pictures, man. Why, like, why you never Instagram? Why you never show people, like, what your life is like? Oh, nah, I'm chill. Like, they'll see it when I'm, when it's time, when I make my art. Blah, blah. They're like, now nah, you gotta live Kinda more. Because now I'm looking back and I'm like, oh, man, like, I can only, I, it, it, from, like, 2012 to, like, 2014, I barely got, like, any pictures with yams and stuff. And now I'm looking back and everybody got pictures and I'm like, 
the memories just stuck. You don't need a big record label anymore to, you know, get exposure. You don't need radio. You, you need the biggest platform on the planet right now, which is the internet. As a, as a rapper or as an artist with the internet, I can make my own label. You can, you can do it yourself. I mean, obviously, you know, you can't, you might not have the money that those companies have, but trust me, there's a way. And like common sense, you'd be surprised how many people lack it, you know? And um, I use my common sense. <laughs> and uh, it led to me trying to use the internet as an outlet to market myself, to get my brand out there. Well, I look at it like you should let the people choose it's a day and age where everything is optional you know every, anything you need is at the is at our, our fingertips a click of a button yeah man you know what i'm saying so it, you should let the fans pick what they want as a single you know why should we why should we drive like songs and program them into radio just to drive it into the heads i mean i think you should pick what people like right and give it to them like i can make my own label you can you can do it yourself i mean obviously you know you can't you might not have the money that those companies have but trust me there's a way and I think <clears throat> I think it's obvious to them I think it's obvious to the world that stuff like radio stuff like you know the old market and formulas they don't apply to my generation man our attention span these kids nowadays man you gotta entertain them really quick or they gonna click to something else man you know I mean I can admit it I'll get online and I start you know looking at ads and whatever and I'm just closing out things I I really if it if it doesn't spark my interest if it's not funny if it's not ignorant half the time I won't watch it